A priest in the Diocese of Kaduna, Reverend Dr. Uluwa Tosin Adeke, has admonished parents to teach their children to live with eternity in mind, saying the word inclusion and the idea behind using it has actually been used to redefine a lot that is not in line with God's word. He made this known while speaking to ACN News crew in Abuja, saying the downside of the word inclusion is that those who have made up their mind to remain true to the word of God are not even included. The values are being redefined, um, and it didn't just happen overnight. It, it, it came over time. And one thing that was used to do this was the media. And it works like this. Put it in their faces, put it in our eyes, put it in our minds, put it in our heads, and over time, change the language. Um, certain languages are now discriminatory, you know, and things like that. In other words, when, you, when it goes in through our five senses, it changes the way we think, then it comes out as a different language, and the current language we use today is inclusion, which means just accept everybody who, for who they are. However, the downside of that inclusion is that those of us who decide to stand on the word of God are not included as part of that inclusion. We are told that we're too harsh, we're too hard, we're stigmatizing and all of that. That's the world that we're living in now. And if we remember, Paul writes to Timothy in 2 Timothy and tells us that in the last of the last days, which is the days where we are now, we'll be seeing a lot of these things happen. What can parents do? It's to use the same style in their eyes, in their ears, in their faces, the reality of the word of God constantly saying, God has defined us as man and woman. There's nothing in between that. And keep giving them that opportunity by God's word. Because a 16-year-old blackmailing for 1.3 million naira. I mean, even as a 50-plus-year-old man, 1.3 million naira is a lot of money. So all of this has changed because... They went after the minds of our children and sold them a lie that there is a generation that is um, fading out. They are the old school. They are going to deny you of enjoyment. They are going to deny you of life. You know, just rock life. This life is only one. Forgetting that we live for eternity. So Christian parents must always teach their children to live with eternity in view they say heaven to gain they say hell to shun